It's your option though. What are you gonna do? Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when you're going through hard times, you're going through death. Real life sh You're alone. There's 24 hours in the day where you're alone in this brain. And your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways. And it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're you got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. And all I knew back then was hard work. The only way anything gets accomplished, I can't get this paragraph. I can't remember what the f in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read again. Still not getting it. Read again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And that's how I started learning. Okay, well, I can't. I got to write out every fucking thing I do. And then write it out again. And write it out again. And guess what happened? I got it. I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realized if I keep going back and going back and going back, your mind will say, okay, we're going to figure it out. Because he is not going to stop. If you're a student in school, try harder, study harder, and focus more. You got this. That athlete that's out there, and you're not training how you're supposed to. Go 10, 15 minutes harder. Five, 10 more reps. You have to work when no one's watching. You have to train like there is no tomorrow. Day after day after day. You can improve just a little bit every day. That's the effort you need to be great. That's the sacrifice that you have to put in in order for you to get to the next level that you need to be in. If you can't stick to something for five f***ing days, you deserve to have a shitty life. You deserve to get your ass kicked. You deserve to be miserable. We're talking about five f***ing days. We're not talking about 50 years. We're not talking about the five years it probably takes to build something worthwhile. We're not talking about the five months it could take for you to lose 100 pounds. We're talking about five f***ing days. And you can't even stick to it for that. So what the f*** do you think you deserve? You deserve exactly what you get. And that's the truth. That's the things your friends won't tell you when you're bitching and moaning about how your life sucks on Friday night, drinking a f***ing brewski with your boys. That's the sh your mom won't tell you when you're sitting in your mom's basement playing f***ing video games, when you should be reading or improving or working out or f***ing doing something. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter how frustrated or pissed or angry or depressed or upset you are. All that matters is that you do what needs to be done on a daily basis over and over and over again. And if you do that sh and it gets done, it's irrelevant how you feel. And I can tell you this, if you do that sh for long enough, you're going to feel a lot better about your life than you do right now. If you want to know how to change your life and give it to you in three words, boring as it sounds, raise your standards. Everybody in life gets their musts. They don't get their shoulds. Most people have a list of shoulds, don't they? Don't you have a list of things you should do, you should follow through on? I, I should lose some weight, I should work out more, I should get into the office earlier. People love to have their should list be met, but it's kind of like New Year's resolutions to kind of know it's not gonna happen. But when you decide something is a must for you, when you cut off any possible, you say, I'm gonna find the way, or I'm gonna make the way. Human beings, when they resolve things, when they make a real resolution inside themselves, which is they raise the standard and they make it a must, they find a way to make things work. Because somewhere when we make this click, when we make something a must, we attach ourselves to it. It becomes part of our identity. Whatever people have their identity attached to, they live. Your physical body today is an absolute reflection of only one thing, not your goals, 
not your desires, but your standards. If your standard is you're an athlete, then there's a certain amount of strength, a muscle tone, and energy that's available in your body on a regular basis because that's who you are. And so you do whatever's necessary to maintain that identity. The strongest force in the human personality is this need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves. Once you lock in on that identity, your brain finds a way to keep you there. If you identify yourself in a new way, and that becomes the standard of how you live, you'll find the way to make that standard real. It all comes down to the inner game, my friends. Changing your life is a change in the inner game. The outside world you can't control, but you have absolute control over this one if you learn the dynamics of what shapes you. This suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress. It's an indicator of obsession. It's an indication of progress towards our dreams. Dreams require sacrifices. You're not entitled to your dream. You have to fucking believe for your fucking dream. The price you will pay for not making your dream come true is far greater than the one that you will pay to make it come true. Am I satisfied? Not by a long shot. And I will not go quietly until the night. I will go kicking and screaming. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become content is the day you die. Is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you.